like it's Bam from Bam's Gaming Studios here today, and I'm bringing you another video. Well, not another video. We haven't done one in a while, but uh, uh, this is different. As I said, this as this channel is entitled, there are montages. It's nice. Um, okay then. Not sure why I just did that. The computer was running just fine. But uh, I'm gonna today. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install the Daisy mod, not Daisy standalone. That the game, it really doesn't take much work to, in, to to get that up and running whatsoever. And this is pretty. I mean, it depends on who you are. This is basic. If you're looking to buy the game, I suggest doing it on Steam. And to do that, first let's start off with the simple Arma 2 combined operations which Arma 2 combined operations contains uh, Arma 2 the original and Arma 2 OA or Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead which if you own both of these games you don't need to buy combined ops but if you don't combined operations is the cheapest way to own both of them simultaneously and it it's just easier to buy them both together um, private military company, British Armed Forces, none of that's, you know, really necessary. None of this is. Um, as far as I know, none of the mods use it. But, uh, moving on, once you have that bot, which I do, but I'm gonna switch accounts, um, to my other account that I newly bought, I just recently bought the game on, and, uh, here we just log out. Um, what's happening, let's go ahead and tell you what you guys are gonna need here. You're gonna need... Daisy Commander, which is the simplest, fastest, easiest way to install the mod, the game, several mods. It has every mod that Daisy, that Daisy comes out with. Easy to find servers, join them, close your Daisy, control your Daisy. It's just the, really the best thing out there. So what you're going to do is hit Install Daisy Commander. This, that ad probably won't come up for you. And this, you're going to download this. You know. Another thing I'm going to show you guys that you're going to need this for. You don't really need it, but um, I'll go ahead and do it now. This is uh, CanYouRunIt.com. So if you go to CanYouRunIt.com, that comes up. Uh, I will have this in the description as well as Daisy Commander. I'll have a link to the Steam um, page to buy um, Daisy. Alright, so what you're going to do on here say you're going to buy Arma 2 but um see I already have um Daisy Commander installed so I don't need to do this but you guys will just go through the setup wizard simple enough let me just get Daisy Commander on my desktop and okay you guys will have an icon on it. it it's that icon right there I don't for some reason half of my programs don't but anyways alright so in here make sure you want to run the game your search Arma. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys. You, it may say for some of you that you can't run it. Now that's not necessarily true on the poster. But um, this isn't true. I can run my settings at a good 30 frames, which is pretty good for Arma. But um, anyways, yeah, you're gonna you, can you run it? And Worst comes to worst, you can run it on the lowest settings. Just turn down your 3D de detail, and it runs smooth as can be. Now, while I'm waiting for this to lo log in, let's um, go ahead and open up Daisy Commander. Now, it runs as admin, so you're going to have to prompt it, you know, access. Alright, so, in my game library here, we're just going to have to discard all the other games. As I said, you're going to need Arma 2, Operation Arrowhead, and Arma 2. Now, the reason you need both of these is Arma 2 is needed for the textures within the game. Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead is once again needed for textures, materials, and um, Daisy runs off Operation Arrowhead. A lot of mods do. Now, after you install them, which I already have, it depends on who you are, it could take anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour, an hour to a day. Um, you're going to go ahead and launch Arma. Arma 2 first. I've already done all this, but I'm just going to go ahead and do this for you guys so you can see. You launch Arma. You got to kind of let it load all the way through. You can't just close it out once it gets here. You got to let it load all the way. Now, while we're waiting for that, um, let's 
go and pull up Daisy Commander. On install slash update, what you're going to come to is this right here, Arma 2. Whatever update is up to date right now, I have the stable build, 103.7.1.8. You're going to install that. Accept whatever admin prompts it gives you, Windows pop up. Um, and you're going to install the default Daisy mod if you want to play that. I do suggest installing that first just to get a gist of the game. Then you're going to, and you know, it has Daisy 2017 Aftermath, Battle Royal, it has everything. Alright, arm is launched. We can now exit that. Uh, Carabo, Selly, Civilian, Epidemic, Epoch, you know, everything. It has everything on here. Um, so yeah, and once you have a mod installed, say I have Daisy installed. Uh, let me just set this down. You can set here your filters, you know, survivor count, you know, amount of players on the server, what high pop, low pop. You can hide the empty servers, you can hide the full servers. Uh, max ping, you know, if you don't want a server with like 400 ping because you live in the US and you're going to a UK server and you don't want to have like 500 ping to the server, you can hide them with your max ping. Like, say you want your max ping to be 70. Boom, only shows some servers. Now, you can hide the locked servers, the unofficial servers, which could uh, contain hackers, the wrong Arma 2 version and the wrong mod version. Outdated, outdated. Uh, the any time of day and the default mods that allow third, trace, third person tracers, nameplates, crosshairs, and death messages. You guys will see what those are for yourself. I really don't have time to explain. I'm trying to keep this video at the gist of 10 to 15 minutes. I use that word a lot. Alright, so Arma 2 operation are heading. And you've got Arma launch now. You're going to launch this. I mean, really, the order doesn't matter, but I like to launch Arma 2 first, considering it's the base game. You wait for this to launch, same way you did with Arma 2 OA. And, um, yeah, guys, I'm going to wait for that to launch. As you can see, this did not show up when I had Arma 2 launch, but it does show up with Arma 2 OA because, as I said, Arma 2 OA does run Daisy. Pause the video for just a second, guys. If any errors like that come up for you guys, I want you to ignore it. You've done nothing wrong. The game will still launch. Just don't click on it a bunch or you may end up crashing it. Um, and it may you may especially get errors once you have mods installed here. Now I have custom launch paths for uh, windowed mode and to launch two DayZ mods so that I can play on a special server. You can force it to use direct 3D windowed mode. Uh, it, you can set the launcher to close after you join the server. I don't really like that. You can use launcher using Steam, kind of a hassle. Replace original Arma 2 files with beta so Steam works. That I never really, that's new to the launcher. Uh, the max connections, um, couldn't really tell you. 24 hour time format, not too sure there either. But yeah, that's that. The ref refresh all servers, of course, refreshes your server list, which I don't want to do right now. Donate, you can donate for something. You can like and follow. I'm pretty sure you can just go ahead and you know, just straight up donate. See, Arma 2 is being weird. See, oh my god, these ads. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about any of that, guys. So, yeah, I have some problems with ads. Alright, so just start an Amazon shop. And blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that has nothing to do with anything you'd want to donate for. So, let's just say Arma 2 launches. The reason it's being so weird is because I have those custom launch options set to it. I'm going to end the process. Alright. So, yeah. So once you've got it installed, you've launched both. As I said, you're going to go ahead here, install this latest stable build, install the latest of all your versions. Mine are outdated on uh, the Mollusk and Origins. You don't have to keep them all up to date unless you're going to play them constantly. But uh, say Daisy runs out of date, don't freak out. You just update it, then you can rejoin your favorite servers. Um, once you've done all this, you've done. Can you, you bought the game, combined operations. Uh, if you wanted to take the precaution before to do can you run it, make sure you weren't wasting your money, you actually run the game. Um, you've installed both Arma 2 and Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead, you ran both. Then you went in here and you installed the stable build and whatever mod you wish to play. You guys are good to join the server. So you just, you know, click on one from the list, double click on it, it goes to launch here. Now hold on, I gotta take these out so that I don't. So, you guys don't really need to mess with that unless you have a reason to or you know what you're doing. 
Uh, we're going to go ahead and join US Canada. Uh, let that launch up. Uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. I apologize for my absence from YouTube. And I'll be doing videos a lot more now. Not necessarily all tutorials, but I will be doing videos. Uh, I've just been extremely lately with um, a new Minecraft server coming out. And just stuff in general. So, yeah, guys, anyways, thanks again for watching. Um, if this helps, leave a like, subscribe to the channel. You'll get more content like this for other games. Uh, leave a comment if you guys need another tutorial. Uh, leave a comment for a gameplay you'd like to see. Or anything you'd just like the channel to do. Um, yeah. So please rate, comment, subscribe. As you can see, it loads you in. You may have to change it to the main menu manually. And then once you're in, you just hit OK. It receives the mission file. Uh, some servers have all different loading screens, so don't expect the same thing every server. Uh, the team speaks. You guys can join the team speak, talk to players on the server. Um, they have anti script, like anti hacking scripts. So, and they have anti combat log scripts, which uh, I generally like weapon or servers like this because. I uh, I don't I don't prefer to play with hackers and having someone abort while you're trying to kill them. Say you're a bandit and you're going around looting people and you go to kill someone and they abort. It's not a fun day for you. Now some of these servers connect very slow. For example, this one. I don't know why. But yeah, as I said before, guys. Uh, Drop a like in the video. I'm going to end the video now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.